Hey everyone, it's Sarah Andreco. I'm a canine behavior consultant, and today I'm reviewing videos that were submitted by you, my subscribers and my viewers, with questions about your dog's behavior so that I can help explain some of the behaviors that you're seeing and maybe answer a couple of questions in regard to these behaviors as well. First up today, I have a video submission from Stacy in regard to her dog and cat. She sent me a video with the both of them together. It's just a short, quick clip here. And it's about trying to get Lilo, the dog, to get along with our cat, Vegas. Before we take a quick look at this video, please hit the like button if you like this type of video. Hit subscribe and ring the bell to receive more content just like it when it's released. If you have a video of your dog's behavior that you would like to submit for video analysis, I'm happy to do that as well. You can submit that through my website at sarahandraco.com slash analysis. All right, let's take a look at Lilo and Vegas here. <laughs> so the cat, the cat Vegas is up on the counter. Doesn't seem super impressed with Lilo, this little dog. <laughs> Who's very much trying to get this kitty to engage with him. Some frustrated, some pleased, some come on, I'm trying to engage. All right, and that's it. It's a really short clip. So this owner is asking um, about getting Lilo to get along with the cat Vegas. So just from what's been submitted so far, I don't see the two of them not getting along. This cat doesn't seem super scared or afraid or agitated. It's kind of indifferent about the dog altogether. And it's like, well, I'm just kind of out of reach and I'm just gonna observe your behavior. The dog seems a little bit more frustrated because it seems like he wants to play and he wants to engage with the cat but I'm not seeing any concerning behavior, at least out of this video clip, with them not getting along well. So it's good for animals to have their own space. So if the cat doesn't want to interact, the cat can move out of the space. If the dog were repetitively annoying the cat and causing an issue to where the cat was giving chase or getting overly upset, starting to show signs of stress, like you know, uh, inappropriate urination or defecation outside of the litter box, something like that, I'd be a lot more concerned about it. But in particular, I would let these two animals work this out. It looks like there's not anything serious happening. So in the event that the dog oversteps its bounds, I'd let the cat handle that in this particular situation, unless things get out of hand and the cat can't. So as far as getting these two to get along, so to speak, so far it looks like they're working things out just fine and I'd kind, to, kind of allow that. Now again, in the event that the dog gets overly pushy or exhibits any concerning behaviors, I'd start putting in some boundaries with the dog about where the cat is allowed to be and where the dog needs to leave the cat be when they're in that place, distracting the dog with other forms of play, lots of one-on-one -on -one physical, act physical activity and enrichment, but otherwise, looks like things are gonna work out just fine. If you have any additional questions about this video in particular or the behavior that's going on here, please feel free to list those questions in the comments below and I'll address those as they pop up. Thanks so much for watching. On to the next one.